<laughs> uh, Bert is here with us. He's going to hang out. We're going to take a break. We'll tell you about the upcoming shows. We'll tell you about the uh, cruise, how you can go on the cruise, and our plan for the cruise. Because uh, I'm going, Joey's going, Pap Pap's going, Spanish is going. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be a blast. I was going to go by myself, and then Leanne's like, you can pack that room. I'm like, all right, let's pack that room. Dude, it's going to be. Will we see you on the cruise? 100%. Okay. Yeah. But I, here's the thing. I joke around about that, but I also know what it's like to be in that position. And you got a lot of stuff to worry about and people to make sure are happy. And I'm not that guy. You know what I mean? I know where I rank. I'm not worried about no. sitting at your table and hanging out with you and all that stuff. I know what you're oh, doing. Oh, you're definitely for. not at the table. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know the people that are going. I may I may be up there. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, mean, I don't know who comes down between I, me I, and I Mark Smalls. I think I'm there. I think it's uh yeah, I think it's a pretty low key group of people. I know Jim Norton's going. Oh really? Jim Norton's going. I think Mark uh Norman is Oh, going. so there'll be people that I hang out with. I don't with. know who's going. I know Whitney was supposed to go and then she got pregnant. She looks hot pregnant. Uh I freeze framed the picture of you when she came to your house one time and when you opened the door she pulled her booby out yeah. in a video and I freeze framed it and kept it and I've used that before. I've seen Oh, it. by the way, this is from your premiere. This is from your premiere. Oh. You sat me right next to Christy Mack. I got my wife on one side and Christy Mack is on the other. Christy Mack's adorable. Dude, not only is she adorable, but honestly, we became best friends during that movie. We still She's text each other. She's really cool. Super cool. And by the way, her boyfriend's even cooler. He was very cool. He let me talk to her the whole night. He let me monopolize the whole conversation. But we had normal, non-sexual conversations all night. She's a sweet girl, and I'm and I'm and we're like best friends. I'm such a, I'm such a meathead that, like, I saw her the next day. I, st I stayed at a hotel that night, uh -huh. and the next day I went down to the pool, and she was reading. And I went, "You read?" <laughs> like just uh, typical, yeah, typical moron. Right. Like, Way you were, you were closing. You were <clears throat> and her boyfriend's like fiance. A, her fiance is like a Navy nerd. Seal nerd. Oh, is he really? Yeah, he's like a he like he's like I love talk tactical maneuvers and uh, like he's like reads like war books and yeah, stuff. Yeah, no wonder why he was so secure. He was like, "I'd kill that fat bastard." <laughs> He was he was great. Uh, we her and I chatted up. We talked about her family, her brother. We were. T I said, "Listen to me. I love Bert to death, but I've been up for like twelve hours. If I fall asleep, nudge me." You know, we were talking. Yeah, I mean, she was cool. I, I fell asleep in my movie once. Did you really? Yeah, we went. We had a, we did a run of like all the, all the uh, theaters. And uh, we, we did like four theaters, and by the last viewing was like at like eleven thirty at night, and we had been drinking. I've been drinking all day. Yeah. And I passed out in the movie, and I was like, I cannot allow anyone to get a video of me passed out in my own movie. <laughs> would have done good. So I fly out. I go to dinner with Sap on Friday. Yeah. We're out pretty late, and we drank a lot. And I have a 6.30 flight the next morning to go to Dallas. I go to the flight. I have some business stuff to do during the day that abruptly ends like at 3 o'clock. So I go to my room. I take a little bit of a nap. I wake up at 5 o'clock. I, I don't know what to do. I have no car. I have no people. I don't know anybody. And I just sat in my room and watched college football, which I don't normally do, and was miserable and went to sleep. The next day, I wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, open up my Instagram, and I see you guys six miles away from where I am at the American Airlines Arena. And I'm like, oh, damn, he was mm -hmm. the whole day. You were yeah. just in Dallas? I text Pete, and I go, are you in Dallas? He goes, we're on our way to Austin right now. I was like, you got to be kidding. I just sat there in my room. He goes, oh, we were so bored, too. Oh, we were out of our mind. Yeah. I was yeah. like, there's nothing going on. I was just sitting there watching TV. Oh, we were walking around sweating. Yeah. It was so hot. It was so, so hot. Texas there. is un. It's why is it so weird? Like I walked from the airport to the shuttle, and my head was just dripping, and that doesn't even happen here. It's you know what it is is that it's it's sneaky. It's yeah. like when your wife uh, does something slutty, you uh -huh. expect it from a, a a stripper, right? You don't expect Not from it. Your and, wife. and Texas has got stripper heat. It's just <laughs> like it comes out of nowhere. What's the last, playing with you? What's the last sexy thing Leanne did like that? Slutty Dude, thing. Don't even get me started, oh, please, bro. <laughs> I've said I've said this. I don't know what I'm allowed to share. Oh no, you're good. But, but so Leanne got on the same longevity doctor I did. Oh yeah, and they hooked her up with like, uh, and I'm saying the name of these things. Don't go to your doctor. I'm not a doctor. So like, I have a friend who heard Leanne talking about this. Okay, good. So okay. and wanted to know what it was. <clears throat> I think it's progesterone. Yeah, that's progesterone. That's the uh, that's another. That's a woman hormone. Uh. I think she's on testosterone. Oh, balance uh, it all out, and then a bunch of other stuff, okay. like a handful of stuff, like pills and stuff, like just vitamins and yeah, and peptides. Uh, like there's this one that we t I take when I can remember. It's like I don't know, it's an injectable. You got to keep it in the refrigerator. Okay. 
it changed her 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 her. her? It, she turned into she all of a sudden one day this is the best. This yeah. is the best. Yeah. One day we're uh it's during the prom- promotion of the movie and I'm 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 doing a full day of what you call stuff and then and then I I got to go to the store. I got to do two sets at the store and Leanne's with me. And we go to that night. We go to dinner at the Saddle at Saddle Ranch, and we're just random. It's just close to the store. Right. And on our way out, she sees a guy and girl walk into the bathroom to have sex. And in Saddle Ranch. In Saddle Ranch. And she goes, "Can you believe that?" And I was like, "What?" She goes, "They was going in to have sex. Can you believe that?" And I just very casually, and I had a couple drinks. Yeah. And to me, I go, "You know, it used to be us." And she goes, "I go, just you know, like don't hate on it, but like they're kids. That's right. what they do." So I don't know what that did to her. <gasps> oh, partner. We get, we pull, we go over the hill. We pull into our, she's driving. We pull into our house and she pulls under the carport, which you ne- no one parks under the carport. Right. She parks under the carport. I go, what are you doing? Immediately she jumps out of the seat, jumps on top of me, gets naked, and has sex with me in my car. In the carport. In our driveway, in wow. our carport. Girls are home. Wow. That's so not like that. So I'm like, all of a sudden, like that's like, uh, that's like, First kiss, roulette spinning energy. Like it's yeah. it's it's amazing. And then she proceeds to have sex with me. I mean, so much I thought she was trying to give me AIDS. <laughs> Wait, like, what? Like she was like, I'll get him this time. Yeah. I mean, it's it's been crazy. Crazy. And 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 I will say this, and I'm I'm and I look, I know I'm talking, I know there's probably people that are going like, oh, don't talk about your wife like that. No. It's... But like, dude, there the right before I left to go on the road for this run. Right. She got drunk, and she had sex that I would call award-winning sex. I would say, I would argue, any man, any man would would think about that, that what she did that night, would think about it a couple more times in their life. She was that good. Wow. Old school Leanne. Like, the kind that I first, when I first started dating her, and she's like, I'm locking this man down. Right. That kind of sex. We had that kind of sex. It was so insane. She'll tell you this. I got a spray tan that day, <laughs> and I had to take a break because I thought my spray tan was running. <laughs> I mean, I was like sweating so bad. I was like, "What are you doing?" And she was like, "Come on, get it." You know, like <laughs> she said. get some man. Now, is this because of her age and the and the vitamins? I, or think, just the I vitamins? think it's. I think it's a. I think it's a, a perfect storm of a bunch of things. I think number one, the girls are leaving. Right. So now all of a sudden, like her her lift has been less. Mm-hmm. I think also. I think I got. Way, I think I got way more famous. Yeah, and so you in, think in, that kind of hot. <laughs> yeah, I think, well, I don't, whatever happened. She recently. used to bang your side splitters Wednesday night show, and now she bangs you. She stadium was, line. She was banging a club comic. Right. Now she's banging an arena comic. Yeah, like I mean, like I, I'm only doing arenas. She's right? She's banging the number one star of the number one Netflix movie right now. I'm not allowed to say that out loud. I just because uh, I can't promote that movie. But what I just barely heard you my head. Yeah, no, so I was saying that Netflix has the machine <laughs> it listed as the number one movie in America. It's not just me. You can go see it. Oh, for real? I, I even put it on our Instagram story that if you go to Netflix, it'll tell you the number one movie in the entire Netflix system is The Machine starring Burt Kreischer, wow. who is here in my garage right now. That's that's great. Yeah. That's crazy. Why aren't you that. allowed to promote that? Um, I stand with the... Uh, this, oh, this oh, it's almost over. It's gotcha. almost over. Yeah. It's almost over. When it's over, I definitely will promote that movie. But uh, the machine, until then, number one. Can, you know what? can, <laughs> I, can I just tell you, to any of the SAG strikers, I hope you guys understand. Do you know? They do understand. If you have a, a thing to promote, it, it, you're like, you understand the struggle, like, but there's, it's so hard not yeah, to promote know, something that you love. You oh, just just sit back. Work so hard at. And, and, but, and I'm so happy that it, that I'm so happy to do what I'm doing like I'm glad the cuz look I'm I understand how the the finances are are definitely swayed yeah but still you do everyone including like it's crazy you watch Ethan Hawke promoting stuff and he's like yeah but I got a waiver and you're like mm, okay no good. whatever okay I get it and like it's 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 crazy what I I'm like I'm not shading Ethan Hawke but you're no, like I okay know. You so do it. yeah but uh but yeah it's you cuz you do make stuff that you love and you want to promote it but you work so hard at I'm, it I'm nice I'm happy that Whatever you said that it's well, like not in the well. I'm not in the union. I no. don't I write my own stuff and I, they don't pay me for it. So I can say whatever I want. The machine, which I saw in at the debut in uh, Los Angeles, uh, my whole family was there. We all sat there and the story that we had heard for so long had become this great feature film called The Machine with uh, Mark Hamill's <laughs> birthday yesterday. Uh, and of course, Burt Kreischer. 
and now uh, it's released on Netflix. It immediately released and debuted at number one and is still hanging there at the number one spot. So all you people who heard us talk about it that were too cheap to go see it in the movie theater, you can watch The Machine on Netflix because it's the number one movie. I just got back from the bathroom. What were you guys talking about? Oh, I, I, <laughs> There's a number one movie on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> gonna go look the, at it. I was. Uh, I, have, I, have so, I have so many secrets. I wish I could just tell. Some you can. Um, I will go back to Leanne. Okay. Uh, yeah. But so I think I got more famous, and I think all of that started happening. I have a, such a funny story about a, a death threat that you got, dude. I, I know. Who's mad at you? I, but it's it really is. I mean. It's mentally ill people, and uh, I mean it's it's people with problems. It's like legit problems. Yeah, I get. I it. think a lot of people on drugs. I yeah, think people that are on drugs, like meth. I think makes people crazy. Can you tell me the? I'll tell you the weirdest one I got. If you can tell me, oh, the I, I can't even tell you the weirdest. I I can just I've had so many. Let me tell you the one I got, and then you tell me if you get one similar. I came home one night when we were doing afternoons from a gig, and I opened up my email, and I got an email from a lady, and she said, "Hey." I'm not really sure who to go to, so I'm coming to you. Uh, the people in the walls that I talked to, they're really mad tonight and told me if I don't kill my kids, they're going to be blah, blah, blah. So I'm coming to you to see what I should do. I have no idea. I went and woke my wife up, and I go, what do I do? And she goes, you have to call the police. So I called the police, and the police went. I go, can you let me know everything's okay? Because this woman's talking about killing her kids, and if I don't tell her. You know, that was the first time I ever felt the burden of this job. And then they called me back, and they were like, we're familiar with her. She was just off her medication. Everybody, everything is fine. But that's the one that spooked me the most. Yeah. the We had one. We had one really bad, and we had to, like, pull the girls aside. Really? Tell the girls. It was really. Did I, you hire Kevin Costner? Uh, close. <laughs> really? <laughs> so it's the only reason it's funny. It's not funny. It really is. Like, when you, especially when you think of, like, Hank Aaron, who had, like, legit death threats. Yeah. You think of how much joy it takes out of him hitting that home run sure because, because you're or up. how much more joy is like suck it well now now i'm sure there's a victorious joy for him or mm -hmm. he's, i think he's passed yeah he's but um so we have a pretty serious death threat and like the fbi gets involved and wow it was, it was pretty bad and uh it got so bad like for the first time we had to like tell the girls was it Russian in nature? <clears throat> no, no. The Russians, are, the Russians are awesome. Yeah. The Russians, I think, would come save me. <laughs> and so uh, and so, we bring the girls in. We're like, uh, like there's like nine dudes in the bus. Yeah. And the girls are there. And we're like, you know, just giving you a heads up. Someone's trying to kill your father. He's, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into details. So I don't want to celebrate it. But right, like, right. It's, it's pretty serious. Uh, we're gonna have to pull you guys back. We're gonna have to hold you guys off, and you know we're gonna people following you guys, and mm -hmm. just you know, and this is gonna this has lasted a couple of days. It's gonna keep lasting. We're gonna be like this for the next period of time, and I'm just watching the girl's face trying to register. That's everyone, hard. Everyone, everyone understand what's going on? We're like, yeah, and they're like, all right, we'll give you guys some time as family to kind of talk. So everyone leaves the room, and Isla is just standing there silent. And Georgia goes, I'm really sorry. That's happening dad and i was like well don't worry about it I, everyone be safe we're gonna be safe we got people protecting us like riley you okay she just folds her arms she goes so was it worth it <laughs> <laughs> i said what she goes all this 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 fame the money was it worth it because now this is our life oh my god and i went i let she just walked out of the bus oh my god oh. Oh, she's colder than the death threat person. Harsh. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Isla or Georgia, me and Leanne sat in there and we're like, whoa. <laughs> she wouldn't <laughs> talk to me for a day. <laughs> oh, did you ever pull the, uh, is it worth it? Do you, you know, like with Joey, I'm like, oh, really? You want to you drive a Tesla? You want to yeah. drive a old, oh, oh, El Camino? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Okay, good. All the time. Yeah. Oh, Just, I, I could get, man, when I get, when I get licensed to talk about what's going on in our life right now, because right now they're dealing with like real stuff, right? And, and it's so relatable. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, George is the only one that has ever had real, uh, like her going to college was tough because a lot of freshman dudes are trying to figure out who they are. Yeah, and they and and it, her it was pretty crazy. And I think I made the mistake of going there for orientation or for drop off, and so dudes were like losing their minds my like, daughter doesn't even like me to roll down the windows when i pick her from school so i can imagine what it's like for you to show up on a campus a college kids loving you now all that attention's on her yeah that's I mean, and, and, and like she's the only georgia on her like i heard her name's pretty recognizable yeah. so people are just knocking on her door any hour oh yeah she had to move her name tag to a different tour 
But uh, was it Isla's, Isla's, Isla has no idea what a nightmare she has when she goes to college. Oh, man. She doesn't know yet. I'll get a phone call. Yeah. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't worth it. By the way, if anyone can help me get her into college. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you're going to end up like the aunt from Full oh, House. Yeah. By the way, I would totally do that. Yeah. Like, I, I, By the way, I'm already offering to do that. Because you want your kid to be happy. And of I'm course. like, oh, there's no way this kid's getting into college. Can you get Joey in FSU? Yeah. yeah. Let's make some phone calls. He's like, he's like halfway there. If you can make a couple calls. FSU's hard. I said to Isla. I said, Why don't, can you please apply to FSU for me? Yeah. Just apply. Just apply so that if, like, because I didn't realize that FSU would turn into, like, a legit tough school to get into. Yeah, it's hard now. I was like, because she's, oh, I don't know, I'm not, gonna say, I'm not allowed to say where they go to school. I've told everyone Georgia goes to Yale. <laughs> and and, the, and the, uh, people have said, so is she enjoying Yale? And I'm like, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was menaging that. Uh, I was menaging that truth. Uh, menaging it. <laughs> hey, if you can get Joey into FSU, then he can go and kind of like keep an eye on Isla. He could be like her Kevin Costner. Wait, are you Isla's age, Joey? He's seventeen. Yeah. He's a oh senior my this God. year. I would love that. You could send them both next. And my cousin, my nephew Charlie's there. My nephew uh, Dylan is there. I mean, you got a whole crew of guys. Oh my God, I would yeah. love that. Yeah, I wonder who I know at FSU right now. I just know the coaches. Well, can you? We yeah. get him on the team. He'll play yeah. a linebacker <laughs> if you need him. Yeah, six foot, six foot two, hundred and what, fifteen pounds. Whatever, I don't know. 115. Yeah, he's a little string bean. God. 150, 200 pounds. I wish I could celebrate. Like, I wish I could be into my my kids' college. Yeah. Like, it would be cool to wear all their gear. Right, right, right. And, like, and like watch. I watch the games. Why can't you? Because you're so, so definable with your college. Uh, well, I, I think my kids just don't want, they don't want anyone to know where they're going to school. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And so I can't like, I can't like celebrate the teams. Yeah, yeah, So, but I've been watching Florida State pretty aggressively this season. It's mm. been fun. Yeah, I even I because Gio's a huge Florida State fan, so yeah. I keep it. I you know pay attention now. That's got to be that's my school because all my uh, everybody except my sister went there. So well, then you got to come to the Syracuse game. If, if it's if it's a day game, which I doubt it'll be now because they're doing well. I'm sure it'll be like a 7 p.m. game. Right. We want to leave Hollywood, leave the heart. I have two shows Friday and Saturday. At, no, uh, uh, Thursday and Friday at at the Hard Rock in Fort Lauderdale. Right. And then. Fly to Tallahassee Saturday morning, go see the Florida State game. Fly to Jacksonville that evening, go do the arena. I don't know what where it is. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, yeah. And then Mobile, and then Tampa in the middle of Mobile. That's perfect. It'll be great. So, so basically, I have to go down to Hollywood. I'll meet you down there. I'll Tom yeah. drop me off. Yeah. And then I'm then I'm there. Bring yeah. a duffel bag and we're ready to go. Duffel bag. We, we can do one suit weekend. Oh, dude, we still never did that. <laughs> that would be so great. That would have been so great. Which I do that. I start, a, I start a conversation where people go, wait, what was the backstory? Yeah. <laughs> right. No, we were talking about foot injuries. We were talking about Dion's foot, yeah. his foot injuries. And then I have plantar fasciitis, which I've dealt with my, I've dealt with forever. Yeah. It's whenever I get fat. I think everybody up. gets it when they get yeah. fat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and, and we were talking about feet and he was wearing, I saw Sap last night was wearing Crocs. Yeah. Like I think he, he always wears a Croc. Yeah. He's, I, I love that dude. And we he, were telling good Sap stories. It's so funny is like, uh, I've seen him be a dick, but he's genuinely such a nice, like this retired Sap is so much fun. We went out to eat Friday and, uh, me, him and Pete, and it was just like, three kids just having a fun laughing at stupid stuff yeah. and having a good time there's no you're an athlete let's talk about football let's talk about radio it's just us being funny and you know I it was love just a good time yeah it's a great him. time I, I love him and and uh i've never se- i don't know i've never se- I've, I've never seen anything but just generous fun sap yeah and the only good the, the thing that's so great is like we have a great relationship with Martini. He comes on the show every week. I, I saw him last night i told him to call in yeah i saw him last night he looks great he looks great uh-huh. martin's doing great we have a great relationship with Allstott. Our crew is, we went down. Allstott to, looks amazing. Oh, he's, I mean, he think he, he could still play. They, Dude, we went down to Key West, huge. and he flew down there and met the crews for the day and just hung out in Key West with us and then went back home. Mike Allstott's a legend. He's a, he's a legend he's a in legit many legend. fields. Yeah. He, uh, like all those guys that was such a good team, even the ones that don't live here when they come to town, Simeon Rice, great dude. Uh, Derek Brooks, do you know who great I, dude. Do you know who I saw in the elevator last night? Who? Gerald, uh, McKay McCoy McCoy Gerald McCoy not a great dude yeah he is, he is the biggest dude I've ever seen in my very life very big he is he had a Cuban links finger ring oh really you know Cuban just so we're clear Cuban links are the big necklaces yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had it on his finger a, it just a, he had it on his finger yeah it was he was the largest man and I thought 
I was with Harrison. I thought he said it, it's Daryl. And I went, Daryl? Daryl. I would know a Daryl. Yeah, yeah. And they said, Gerald. I went, Gerald McCoy. Mm -hmm. And he was just the largest human being I've ever seen. Yeah. And I was like, imagine him with pads on. Oh, dude. Imagine laying on top of you forcefully. Like, just destroying your body every play. Did you hear Joe Buck and uh, Troy Aikman calling for Mike Allstott? Yeah, I did. I did <laughs> They're like, he's in the yeah. building. Can they he get out on the field? They only needed two yards. And yeah. Like, well, this is why you'd bring in Allstott. Yeah. God. Allstott's great. Oh, we're, we're really I fortunate. Felt, I, met, I met Baker Mayfield last night. Yeah, he's cool, right? Dude, he's he's so Florida, he doesn't know it. Yeah, <laughs> right. He is so Florida. Everything about him reeks of that that 80s athlete yep. that just from went, his stupid mustache on down just everything and his i like he's very i don't hope he doesn't dislike this he's got an ass on him yeah like, <laughs> dude, that all 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 athletes yeah have an ass it's a, yeah, that's it's the a, thing right big the, high hocks on the uh, thighs on the ass i get he da i dapped him up and you know i Told him how much of a fan I am. I like the way Did he Did he know you? He was familiar I with you? No idea. I yeah. doubt it. I, you didn't I, see that bright. He seems like the kind of guy that would love you. He seems like the kind of I guy that watches no, Netflix. No, he's, he had uh, he had like zombie eyes on oh, because he, he was getting ready to go. He was like he was just like fan. It was all fans. So yeah. when you're in that, you're just like uh huh yeah 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 yeah. And I just was like Baker, and he was like hey, mm -hmm. and I was like dude, you're the. And he was like that, you know you could tell. But then he walked away, and I just saw his ass, and I was like, <laughs> and he's got big hands, right? And then and then the best is I send. Uh, Pete, my Pete, sends a picture to all the women in our office. We have like twelve women in our office, right? And everyone's like, "Uh, uh get his number for me." Uh -huh. And then he sends a picture of Baker Mayfield's wife. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. my God, she's dude. The, uh, the they they should do a calendar of all the wives. <laughs> the the wives are beautiful. They're a perfect couple. The, all the yeah. all the wives are <clears throat> gorgeous for bucks. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you expect? I mean, that, but that, that you're right. I just had the opportunity to see her recently, and uh, Joey, my son Joey, was with Baker and took a picture of them and said he was the nicest guy ever. So, dude, they're all nice. Yeah. Chris, Chris Godwin is like the sweetest guy Godwin's in the world. Great. Hung out with his wife Mariah last night. She's the, I mean, every so single pretty. one of them are there. Like, she's her eyes yeah. are distracting. Yeah, she's got. They've the, been together since like since early high school. college or high school. I yeah, think yeah. high school. They were they're from uh, they were like high school sweethearts. They do so much for my for wife dogs. is in love with her with and. Yeah, well, but now that she's all horned up, oh, no, Leanne. <laughs> God, like, do you realize how much the last thing you, you want to realize be how much we would let down the guy? Right, I was gonna say. <laughs> they yeah. would be like, "That's a lot of loose white." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Uh, I things seem like they're going really good. I mean, like now they're kind of winding down a little bit, right? Like the like the tour has got to be coming to an end. That's got to be a brutal life to be on the road doing that, even though it's fun, but doing yeah. it every night. I've been doing it sober, so it's not it's not as bad sober. Really? Yeah, I mean it's boring. Yeah, like it, like the shows not as are exciting. Awesome. You get the shows are awesome. The material's getting better quicker. Like all the work is is doing well. You know, it's, I, I just it's like you get you get done. It's pr it's pretty much a routine. Like you wake up, you go to the gym. You have gyms in these arenas that are right. pretty nice. So you have a great workout. Um, you eat clean. I have a we have catering and they make a meal for me yeah. so I can eat clean, and then. I take like a nap, and then I do a show, and then I'll smoke a cigar after the show, yeah. and then that's it. You look like a guy whose girlfriend broke up with you. Yeah. You're like, I just haven't seen her in fifty two days, but things yeah. are going okay. No, it's well, it's like it's it's I I had a a little bit. I missed the chaos a little bit. Yeah, and and I know that like it's crazy because I get emails from or texts from people going like, "Do you look good? Whatever you're doing, keep it up." And you know, like people people love you. Like people always say, "If you quit drinking, we still have fans." I think my fans care oh, more yeah. about me than they do and I, th I i honestly wonder if going back to drinking is going to bum people out i i don't think i mean i always used to say like you know if there's a certain comedian you're used to seeing fat like uh like what was his name the guy that eh, guy well, ralphie john panette john, not john panette the uh louis anderson oh, yeah. like if yeah. louis anderson lost a bunch of late it would be hard to adjust to what i thought my no 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 all but we, was we, perfect. we we both picked different fat guys <laughs> yeah We're like wait do all fat people sound alike <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you leave now uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> no i'm just saying like uh like with you with the drinking i think people love to follow you up and down and up and yeah. down i don't think nobody's nobody's leaving i love 